Congressman Kevin McCarthy now calling on Attorney General Jeff Sessions to recuse himself and he joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're great. Thank you. Why are you calling on him to recuse himself? I'm not calling on him to recuse himself. I was asked on Morning Joe if he needs to recuse himself as going forward. And as you just heard, uh, Attorney General Sessions said he would he would recuse himself yep. going forward appropriate. And that's all my answer was. So to, it's amazing about, how it's amazing ahead. how people spin things so quickly. Well, I'm so glad you decided to join us. I'm and sorry, I, I asked it the wrong way, but I don't watch Morning Joe. <laughs> I was told that that's, right. what the, that's what the mainstream media is reporting, but apparently. Yeah. You have told us otherwise. Right. Yeah. Uh, 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 leader, can you tell me in the, where do you stand with this? As it comes out today, there were two meetings, according to Washington Post reports. There were two meetings between Senator Sessions, one at the RNC uh, at an event that he was speaking at, and along with other ambassadors, and one one-on-one -on -one in his office. What do you think about this story? Look, I'm just hearing about this story. It's, it's amazing how the story comes out right after a great speech by this president right. and the timing. Um, look, in his role as senator, he's going to meet with a lot of ambassadors. That's his job. He was not working for the campaign at any given time. I think, I think he just has to clarify because he was asked a question, did he meet on behalf of the campaign? And he was answering it in that way when you looked at that. No, I, I did not have any meetings of campaign. And one happened to be, they say, at a convention. And as you know, ambassadors go to both parties' conventions. Right. They ask as many members as possible to come by and say hi. I can't tell you which ambassadors I met in those conventions or walking out of a room who shook my hand. It was not a meeting associated with a campaign. And I think just clarification to not have this blow out of a proportion of what this is. Wasn't sure. one of those meetings, though, a face to face with the same ambassador, the Russian ambassador that? Uh, that General Flynn met with? Talk to him. If, that, if that's the case, I think uh, the Attorney General just needs to clarify to the American people what sure. that was. And as a U.S. Senator, his role is to meet with ambassadors as well. Absolutely. Um, so just clarify that right, and go right. forward. Sure. Does it trouble you, um, Mr. McCarthy, that this looks like another instance where this, this is supposed to be top secret stuff? I mean, it sounds like it's leaking from the intel community, but you know, there's a story out there that in the final days of the Barack Obama administration, uh, you know, people in the intel community knew about, you know, the ties to Russia and stuff like that, and so they started spreading it everywhere to do as much damage to President Trump and the incoming administration as possible, and that could be why we're here today talking about this. It seems like a lot of politics, and when you read into these stories, there's another story out there saying the Obama administration has been floating so many stories out there. I think it's time to, to come together as an Americans. We have big problems, from health care to tax reform to infrastructure, and that's what I was talking to the, right. to the president yesterday at lunch. We're trying to move forward, and I think we right. should put people before politics and really come together as one nation. And I know you're probably his favorite, uh, sorry Paul Ryan, you're probably his favorite <laughs> member of the House. He Feel you guys have hit it off from day one uh, and brokered a lot of when there was some rifts there. So uh, can you tell me uh, if I'm wrong in saying that so far lawmakers on the right have let this president down because you have not gotten together and really did the hard work of coming together on one replacement, uh, repeal and replace for Obamacare. The Senate yesterday saw the proposal from Ways and Means Chairman uh, Brady and said, you got to be kidding me. This is too broad. I can't get behind this. So you guys seem to be dropping the ball. No, I have to disagree with you on that because we are lockstep with this president. That's what the meeting was about yesterday, and there were senators in the room with the president. Remember, Obamacare is essentially two things. It's the exchanges and it's the expansion of Medicaid. We all know the exchanges have collapsed. One third of the counties in this country only have one provider. The 23 co-ops were created, 18 of them have collapsed. We're moving forward next month. We're waiting for CBO to actually score the bill. That's that's the only thing holding us back. What bill? And if you if you go back the replacement. We have to do it through reconciliation because Democrats will not work with us on this. So through reconciliation, we will repeal and replace Obamacare. And the uniqueness about this, you have to think it in almost three phases. When the ACA went into place, because of the manner in which it did, they gave a lot of power to the Health and Human Service Secretary. 
Well, there's 1,400 pages of that. Well, Tom Price is now in, in that role, and he has worked very closely, been a part of the house. Uh, he's a doctor. We're working together with him to take those changes. We will start moving it through committee. If you watch in a very short amount of time right here, that's what we were talking to the president about yesterday. It'll go through the House and then to the Senate, and those bills that take 60 votes will move through the House and get passed later. That's the plan. That's how it's supposed to work. Let's right. see what happens. All right. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you very much for joining us live today, sir. Uh, thanks for having me. You're welcome. You Coming up, she rallied against the president in front of TV cameras. Fight this battle as a dreamer.